Hello, Sagittarius. This is your reading for mid-May of 2021. I am hearing why now, okay? You asking somebody why now? Why did you wait? Why are you coming forth now? However that resonates. Okay, let's see what the energies are for you guys. Fire signs for men may have not been the easiest read so far. Let's see if yours is going to be different. The Nine of Wands. Crossed by the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. I think that this is an energy of somebody being tired, um, battle-worn, you know, and somebody just wants the chaos to stop. Okay? I'm getting that very loud and clear. I just want some peace. Can I have some peace, please? I don't I can't deal with this anymore is what I'm picking up. You know, leave me alone is what I'm hearing. We have the judgment in the reverse. Um, Scorpio energy. We have the, t the high priestess in the reverse in the recent past. We have the three of swords in the reverse. Two of wands. Nine of pentacles in the reverse in the fears. Environment, Eight of Swords. Somebody else had this in their environment too. I want to say it might have been Aries. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. And we have the Queen of Coins in the reverse. The Lovers, Gemini. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Six of Wands. Under the deck, we have the Five of Swords in the reverse. Okay. This is kind of a heavy energy, Sag, to a point, okay? You are definitely going to find yourself at a crossroads needing to make some kind of decision. And I feel it's weighing heavily on you because you feel like you've made a bad judgment call, bad decisions in the past. You didn't trust your intuition. Your intuition told you to stop and you kept on going. It's what spirit is telling me. Okay. You, have, you're, you got involved in this karmic relationship that you were hoping would be successful, but all that they did was play mind games. And you kind of found out about it. You were very patient in this connection. You were very understanding, but your patience has run out. And I feel like this person may have drained you dry even financially, emotionally, physically, whoever you're dealing with. But you're definitely in a place where you just want the chaos to stop. You want some peace here. Because I think you, you kind of recognize that there is no reconciliation here. That you may have made some bad decisions in the past by not following your intuition. But I also feel that there are some hidden knowledge that is coming out. 
that might weigh you down a little bit more. I'm just, I'm being honest with you, Sag. I think there's going to be information that's going to weigh you down more. And that's why you're going to be in this space of, please, can I just have a little bit of relief? You're really thinking about how you've healed or how you're healing. The person you're dealing with really did a number on you. They really hurt you. I think there's a lot of deception. I think that their motives were not pure. But, I, but I'm being told that they're going to try to come rushing towards you and try to bring about some kind of reconciliation because there is this fear. I'm hearing payout, okay? I'm hearing a payout or a payoff that they, don't, that they want to avoid. They, ah, okay. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael said that they are realizing that they made some stupid mistakes. And all the secrets came out, all their secrets came out. And I'm hearing, oh shit, I got caught type of energy. But I think that they're going to try to put a band-aid on it by try to act like that they want to fix things, that they want to reconcile, which is putting you at a crossroads. And all that you could think about as far as the situation is the pain that they caused you. You've, came, you've come so far in healing that you don't want to get trapped again, okay? In your fears here, you're fearing that... If you get caught up in this again, you're going to lose your sense of independence. You're going to, you may be dealing with a narcissist here, but there's this deep fear Say you've come so far, okay? I'm going to turn this up right because I feel that I need to. You're standing on your own two feet. You're making things happen. There is a sense of abundance coming towards you. And you're afraid of going backwards. You don't want to lose that independence. Because, you know, your heart might be healing from this. But it's still on your mind. You know, you're still thinking about what this person has done to you. How they had you chained and trapped. Okay? And I feel like that there is a choice of decision, a crossroads that you are approaching. And the, you, you need to try to keep in mind of, I cannot allow myself to get trapped into a place where I, ha I can't breathe, where I have no independence, where I have no say so in my life. And you are hoping that you do not show your emotions. It's like, I wanna say you wear your heart on your sleeve And you, your hopes are that you can maintain emotional control. Show no emotions. Head, head, using your head versus your heart. Okay? Now, the queen of coins in the reverse is somebody who, you know, this is somebody who is very generous, very patient, very understanding, very practical, very motherly-like, nurturing. But there's no nurturing energy here. I definitely feel like this was a karmic. This person played head games. They were not nurturing. They played head, played head games. They were very controlling. And with the fact that this is in the reverse... It's telling me you've come out of that energy and you've conquered it. And this person no longer has any kind of control over you. That this, that this was a karmic lesson that you had to learn. But again, you know, I feel... Archangel Raphael is telling me that this person that you've dealt with 
is going stir crazy over the fact that they have no control over you anymore. They, you know, they lost their control. Okay, let's dig in some and get to dig in further here. Okay, tell me about this Nine of Wands and King of Wands in reverse. I feel like that there was a deep spiritual lesson here. Uh, I hear you saying no. I think you're telling this person no. You're putting a stop to it. They're rushing in and they're rushing into a wall. Is what Spirit is showing me. They're rushing into a wall. And it is going to drive them bonkers, bananas. I feel like that maybe that they were brought up against divorce. They may play the religion card with you. I don't know why I said that. This is probably about a married couple. Doesn't have to be. Uh, let's see what we have here. They are going to play upon the happy times, the happy memories. Okay. So there's going to be some memories that are going to be surfacing. That's going to cause you to be nostalgia. And I feel like that they may be thinking about those happy times. The plans, the dreams that you guys had. Okay. And this person you're dealing with is being very strategic in the way that he approaches you. He's got his plan. But he's not acting out of heart. He's acting out of his head. Because he's, he's, he's very much about control. And it's driving him crazy. Okay. And driving him crazy. Excessively crazy. Okay. Um, I'm hearing almost too obsessive crazy. Okay. And he's not truly genuine in his emotions. But he's definitely planning things uh you may receive a communication from him that he's putting a lot of work and thought into the way he's going to communicate with you okay he's going to make it out that he wants to even out the scales that he wants to do the right thing okay this may even be a legal contract you know this could be a marriage contract that he's going over or this could be the divorce contract that he's looking at but he's strategizing on how to get around it. How to get around the justice system. And I'm feeling here that there's a sense of losing. He doesn't want to lose. I feel there's a loss of money. And he is lacking stability. And I'm saying he for some reason. It could be a female, but somebody, after a, a period of time of strategizing, planting their seeds, they think that they're going to rake in a harvest now because they see money going down the drain. They see, you know how I said a payout in the beginning of this reading? That's what this is. You know, they're trying to avoid having to pay money out. So they're going to try to act like that they want to reconcile. Okay, Spirit, tell me more about this decision, this choice, Two of Wands. Tell me more about this Two of Wands. We have the hanged man. Okay. So I feel as though that you are going to be, you're left in suspension, not knowing what to do because you, you want that happiness that happily ever after. Okay. And you've been waiting on this. You've been waiting on this person to come forth, but they're not genuine. And I think you're, you know, this, 
and you were getting through this. This is ending a cycle that you're trying to end. But somebody, I feel like your person is very manipulative, manipulating the situation, causing an imbalance, okay? And, uh, and coasting along. They're coasting along and giving you false hopes and false promises. We have the sun card. I feel like they're, they're going to promise you the stars, the sun, the moon, the stars, okay? If you give them another chance. But they know what buttons to push. They know how to manipulate. They know how to get people to do what they want them to do. That's the danger with this person. But I feel as though that you're kind of wiser to that. Because I do feel you're shutting them down. Okay. Tell me about this Eight of Swords, please. Eight of Swords in the environment. You know, very restrictive environment. You may feel restricted because of finances of some sort. And they may be trying to come forth and offering you something. Offering you that stability again. But I don't feel they're genuine. The King of Cups would be upright if he was being generous and really, really meaning what he said. Okay? It would be upright. Okay, with this Eight of Swords, we have the Fool. Okay, this is somebody who's going on a new in a new direction, breaking free. Okay, I feel like a brand new beginning, a clean slate in life, free of restrictions. I feel like that's the road that you're on right now. And somebody is trying to stop you from moving on. Stop you from your, almost like take away your freedom. You know, you're trying to end a cycle. Meanwhile, they're trying to keep it going is what I'm getting here. Um, two of coins, but I think you've made your mind up. Um, uh, you may have been in an energy of going back and forth, of trying to decide. But you've made your mind up that this is over, okay? doesn't matter what they say to you. You know, you're not, you're tired of the fighting. You're tired of having to be on the defensive all the time. You're tired of having to defend your own opinion. And I feel like, you know, this is, you, this is like that original energy of, I need some peace. And I think that's what this is. You are definitely putting an end to this connection because you need some peace of mind. Okay, what is this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse? This is not giving any, not nurturing, not giving any energy to this. You know, not being patient. Somebody's patience running out. Queen of Coins in reverse. I think your mind is set. This person doesn't deserve my love and attention. I hear you saying, they do not deserve my love and attention. I'm going to give my love and attention to somebody who truly deserves it. I'm turning this around. I'm turning my life around. I have my own life now. I'm not going to be controlled anymore. I'm not going to deal with narcissistic energy. I am free. I am free to roam. I am my own person. And I hear you telling this, per telling this other person... Go cry to somebody who cares. That's what I'm hearing. Go cry to somebody who cares. The Wheel of Fortune. What did I just say? This is a turning point. You're turning. Things are turning around in your favor now. 
you're releasing any kind of energy of guilt that this person may have tried to put on you. Um, it's like they're guilty, but they try to make it your fault. You're releasing that energy. And you have the two cups that still remain. You're, those two cups represent your dignity, your honor. You're releasing the codependency. You're releasing the negativity that they brought to you the, the, and being deprived. You know, they left you out in the cold, right? But what I'm seeing here is they actually did you a favor. It's, uh, it's opening up other doors for you. And... You're not going to build a flawed foundation again. You know, this connection fell apart for a reason. You are moving on. You've made your decision to move on. You're trusting your instincts. You're going in on a hit an unknown path, but you're trusting your instincts. You're not giving in to their, they make attempt you with sexual temptations. There, you know that you don't feel the same passion for them as you did before. Because they've entered you into so many third party situations. They've proved to be a liar, a deceiver. Everything that comes out of their mouth, you don't know if it's a lie or the truth. Because they, they tell you one thing. And they go in a different direction. And they knock down your confidence and your self-esteem. But I feel you're building that back up. And you're going into mega bitch mode. You know, I feel like, like I said, I could hear you say, go cry to someone who cares. Mm, mm, mm. You're not having it, Sag. And you're moving on in a whole new direction. Okay, we're going to see what other energies, what other messages Spirit would like to add to this reading. Your, your strength is shining through this reading. It really is, Sag. And your fears are on par. You're afraid that if you give in to this person, you're going to lose your independence. And you're right. So I think that kind of helps you steer away from any kind of temptations or reconcilia reconciliation with this person. Base chakra. Yeah, it is all based on their on the basic needs of survival. But you are having victory. You, this is a chariot. You are definitely moving past this person. Your basic needs are going to be met. You are having victory. You can wave that victory flag. You have this newfound hope. This bright future ahead. Beautiful. Like being a light. Because you've stood your ground. And I don't think this person ever expected that. I don't think anybody's ever stood their ground against this person before. And there we go with us two of wands again. You made the choice. You made the decision. This is about making the choice and decision to keep on going and not going backwards. Because you are moved into the Empress energy. You are in Empress energy. You know your value. You know your worth. You're abundant. You're loving. You're nurturing, you're caring, and they may see the fact that you moved into Empress energy. That is what is attracting them back. Your Empress energy, your power, okay? And that is what is driving them crazy. They don't have dominion over you anymore, and it's just driving them insane, okay? But you are in your element. You are in your heart space. You are the Empress. Okay, this is the message I have for you, Sagittarius. I love you all, and I'm going to leave it there. Blessed be.